hell are you doing? What, are you going to hire Marissa so that she'll tell you all the Chandler's dirty little secrets? Actually, I was looking for a legal aid. She's not stupid. That's you know why, that? That's why I hired her. She's vulnerable. And she's going through a really tough time right now with her marriage and with her career. So for you to take advantage of her like that is just plain cruel. I am not going to hurt your daughter. If I'm going to get back in this legal game, I could use her help. And I can help her. I can get her to pass the bar, guaranteed. Okay, look, I'm sorry. All right, I'm really pretty stressed. I just had it out with Marissa a little while ago about JR. I told her that I didn't think she should trust him, and of course she got really upset with me. I mean, I just, I just want to help her. I owe her that much. Why do you owe her? You know, it's a long story, and I don't think you'd even believe me if I told you. Try me. I was dirt poor when I had Marissa. I actually had twins. And I couldn't. I couldn't keep them both. I couldn't afford to keep them both. I knew of a really good family who wanted a baby, and I saw it. That's rough. Yeah. From Marissa. For both of you. You could spend the rest of your life trying to make up for something like that. So, Annie and JR are together. I really thought we had something. I hate that I hurt you. No, you didn't hurt me. You just told me the truth. Can I ask you something? Anything. Y you saw firsthand the way Annie behaved around you and JR, the whole time being married to Adam. I, how did you get here? Trusting her, loving her. Uh, yeah. You know what, Marissa? Huh. I had been on my own for so long. A long time. And when I met Annie, we just had this instant connection. We had this understanding. Kind of like how it was with you. Not that you told her anything alike. Thank God for that. Sorry. After this, no offense taken. <laughs> So, go on. I guess I really thought that I was Annie's answer. You know, I was, I was gonna be that guy. You know, that, that one guy that looked past all the crap and could accept her. And I know this sounds weird, but by being her answer, she became mine. I really thought she was ready to change. Stupid, huh? You're asking me? My loving husband has cheated on me twice now. That I know about. Hmm. You ever wish we could go back? To when? Before Annie and me. Before Annie and JR. Before Annie and Adam. And me and JR? If it wasn't for AJ, I'd say yes, in a heartbeat. 
You know, I would do anything to get back to the way Greeley and I were. I love her. But is it even possible at this point? I mean, Ryan, last time I saw her, she was so angry. And think about it. I mean, you and I are the reason she married David in the first place. Exactly. She was just as pissed at me as she was at you, and, and, and she and I finally managed to get through that. Yeah, I wonder why. Maybe because you're the love of her life? No, Kendall, things have changed, okay? But you are still her best friend, and I know things have been kind of lousy lately, but I promise you Greenlee will remember that. Well, things haven't completely changed. I mean, you're still doing everything you can to save her. I'm doing it because she needs help, not not because I... Yeah, okay, it's, right. Oh, yeah, you can, I'm not. You, can, you can fill me in on that later, okay? Just put me to work. Jake. Oh, hey. <coughs> Someone's here. <coughs> Sorry, Greenlee. How's Ryan? You ready? Let's do this. 